Studnik Aquatics here. This video is a little different. Um, my daughter asked me if I could build her a dresser. I had never built a dresser before and so I was going to do a build series on this. My son told me to do that. I, I guess I just got busy and didn't get that done. But basically, basically this is it. I need to put one more coat on. I think it turned out really good. Um, of course I don't have the drawers in there right now. They're in the shop and they need some more clear coat. So what I did was I had some more of this lumber that's the same stuff I used to build the walk-in humidor on the walls. And I used one of each of those for the side and this side. And then I had to cut strips here and pocket hole jig this in. I had never used a pocket hole jig before. And with the pocket hole jig, you're able to screw it in at an angle so that it doesn't come out the front is what you do. So, um, this you don't even see because when you put the drawers on they come all the way out to the edge right here so you don't you don't actually see this part here but i built this piece here all as one piece this front front panel all the way down i did i did that by hand and then i went ahead and, and on one side and then i copied it to the other side and i cut that out with with a jigsaw this part right right down here i also did the same thing on each end i think that Get this thing to focus in a little better. I did that on each end, so that, that helps it a little bit. The other thing that I did was, yes, you can see screws sticking out here. Underneath this trim board is where I screwed this whole thing together. And so I put this trim board on here and I used these, these little Torx head uh, finish screws and make sure I measure every one, you know, so that even though you can see them, they're symmetrical, they look nice, and they're not ugly. So I think the end of it turned out really well. And of course the top, I keep losing focus here. And of course the top turned out really well. You can really see the wood grain through it. Um, I had never, like I said, I'd never built a dresser before. And I got these runners here for the drawers at Menards. I wanted some and so did my daughter, something that, that ran smooth. And when you do those, it's all about the distance, I mean, down to a 32nd of an inch from here to the other side, based on how wide the drawer is in order to make it. So it takes a little bit of shimming. As you can see, I, I shimmed in here, um, and it's, it's built really solid. I also put corners, angle corners down there. I have these pieces on the bottom. Of course, this stuff here, you'll never ever see. You'd have to take the drawers out to see this portion of it. And I have the corners up top, same thing. And then on the back, I bought a four by eight sheet. Well, it's the same stuff that's right here. This is that, I forget even what it's called, but it's really rigid. Um, this is quarter inch, I didn't want eighth. So this is quarter inch. And once I put that on the back, that really solved it up. I mean, it's solid and it's it's heavy. It's It's very, very heavy. But I want this dresser to last her the rest of her life. And so that's, I kind of decide that's why I need to build stuff, build it so that it can be a family heirloom or something. And I think it's gonna, she's gonna like it real well. Um, here are the drawers. I only have one, one uh, clear coat on those. I don't have two, I do have it stained and she helped me do that. She did pick out the drawer poles and I think they look really nice. I did not router the top and I did not router the drawers because she didn't want them routers. She wanted more of a um, contemporary look rather than a classic look. And those square corners is something that she, she really liked. So these are the drawers. Basically, I made those out of, I bought, I just bought lumber, one by 12s, and made a box. All I did was make a box on four sides put the stuff on the bottom, the same stuff that's on the back of the drawer, and then I screwed this box <clears throat> to this board from the back side and made sure the screws didn't come out the top. And that's how they're put together. And they're very heavy also. And as you can see, I did pick up <clears throat> a sheet of the cedar chip stuff. Now this doesn't catch. This is made for closets and drawers and it has been sanded so it won't catch fabric, but it really smells wonderful by having that cedar in there. Um, of course, I have my rollers on the side, and as I said, there's only one coat on this. The stain that we used for this dresser, uh, she wanted the red, but she wanted to be able to see the wood grain through it is what she was after. And so, we, it took a while, we had to order it, and it was, it's a water-based stain, and we went down to the hardware store, they ordered it for us, 
and then we picked out, let's see, I think I've got it right here. Yeah, I'll show you which one it is if I can get it off the, off the wall. Yeah, here's the stain that I used. Um, it's a water-based stain, which is nice. But also, you, it was a tint base is all it is. And so we just started adding red. And we, we, we mixed it the way it did on the chart. It, it didn't turn. It looked too red. So we added burgundy. Anyway, we finally come up with a color that we liked. <clears throat> now, when you do stain, make sure you stir it very well or shake it. You can shake stain. And when you put it on, I prefer to put it on with one of these foam brushes rather than a rag. I think it's more consistent. It works out better. But you have to put it on really fast fairly even and then you have to immediately wipe it off because this wood I sanded everything and by sanding it uh, the pores were open and when you put the stain on it, it soaks it up it says don't wait more than three minutes well if we waited more than more than t one minute then it would almost look like red paint and we didn't want that we wanted to be able to see this beautiful wood grain in there so as soon as I put that on there I start on this end and I was I was staining this thing this way and my daughter was going through with a rag and she was wiping it off and wipe it off as clean and as and as smooth and, and kind of evens it out <clears throat> so that's how we did that it is a minwax water-based stain um, of course this is a tint base so you could go any direction you wanted on color so but we wanted the red we wanted kind of a deep red be able to see the wood grain and, and like I said these did still need more clear coats so I let those dry for at least 24 hours and then rather than just using regular clear coat I went with the, the uh, Minwax Helmsman and actually this was used at one time for boats it's it's made so that the Sun doesn't doesn't turn the color of it yellow so if you have your dresser setting in near a window and the sun shining on it for years, because like I said, I want this to last her forever, then the clear coat on a lot of polyurethanes will turn yellow. And this does not do that. And this is also completely clear, completely waterproof. So I put a thin coat on this, even it out, make sure there's no runs. And then I've been waiting about a day. And then once you get past that point, then you use 220 grit sandpaper like this. And you don't have to do much because if you rub your hand over this, this is rough. It was smooth before I put the clear coat on because it was sanded, but now it's rough and it's from the clear coat. So then what you do is you use 220 and just sand this, which I'm going to do that this morning on this one. Don't do it very much. You don't want to remove the clear coat. Just smooth it up. So you run over this about one or two passes and then when you run your hand on it, it's nice and smooth. Then take a rag, you know, just something that's um, that's dry and then you can wipe that off because it'll leave kind of a white film where the sandpaper picked that stuff up and wipe that off and you're ready for a second coat and that is what I did in here on this part and I, I think it looks really good I think it's going to be a beautiful dresser when I get done um, yeah so I probably should have done a whole build series on this thing another thing I did was I put a little trim board up here to cover some holes that I screwed it together and like I said even on top yeah you can see the little Torx head screws going in but they don't look bad um, th th they look fine so that is I thought maybe I'd throw that video out here this morning I, I don't obviously I'm not going to stick the drawers in it and show you what it looks like with the drawers in now because I'm, I'm in the middle of still still doing this but I think I'm going to go ahead and put this video out there today this is Sunday I think the dresser looks looks beautiful. I think it turned out really well for never having done it before. And I'm sure there's people out there that have a lot more tools than I have and that have done this before or do this for a living that are going to say, well, you did it wrong. Well, I don't know if I did it wrong or not, but it's solid. I mean, that is a solid dresser and it will last a long, long time. So once I get it all set up and get the drawers in it and everything, I might add another little short video to this. But I just thought I'd put this video out here today on, on building a, um, a dresser for my daughter for her birthday. So anyway, uh, comment, like, subscribe. I have other things I'm going to be releasing on this thing. I start plants because I built a greenhouse out of wood and glass in my backyard. And I'm going to be redoing that. So I'm going to be covering that this summer on my channel. I also have a backyard pond that now has a hole in it. So I'm going to have to repair that. I'm going to put that on my, on my channel. So I have, I have a lot going on. So anyway, that's a video of my, uh, my dresser build for my daughter. And I think it's 
I think it's a beautiful dresser and I just need to finish putting I don't know if I'm gonna put one more coat on this has two coats of the clear coat on there nice and smooth now and I don't know whether I'm gonna put a, a third coat on that's it's, it's pretty darn shiny the way it is and one more coat would just give it a little more shine I, I might end up doing that I'm not sure so and I know if I did run any sandpaper over it now boy it wouldn't take much just maybe one short pass just to get rid of any rough edges and then put it on then it should be just smooth as can be and very very shiny so that's what she wanted so anyway this is studnick aquatics and i'm just you know showing you this dresser build like comment and subscribe <laughs>